first moment. I actually feel like I'm in Colombia right now. I live different here. This is the real Cartagena. Imagine this, you're in a foreign country, no phone. All your cards are on your phone. You don't know anyone's number by heart. You do not speak the native language in the country that you're in. What do you do? Hola, gente guapa. Another beautiful day in Cartagena, Colombia. So we are headed out the door. I'm about to go back to La Magnolia. From here, you can actually see the wall See, It is over there. If you look really close, you can even see the wall. So, let go. Hola. Uh-oh. Oh, it's still locked. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to La Magnolia, the rooftop, which is where I was the first night I got here. Y'all, we have so much to catch up on. Not really, I'm not gonna draw it out, but um, I haven't vlogged in about a week. My birthday was a week ago. This is like, I haven't done anything. No excursions, nothing. Y'all know how I love my excursions. We'll get into that later, but I'm headed back to La Magnolia. I wanted to do like a daytime vibe. It's Saturday, it's currently 5.35. The sun is setting, so that's where we're going. But look at the harbor. Cartagena is so beautiful. I'm so sad I haven't really seen it. I've been here two weeks, y'all. I haven't really seen it, anything. I'll tell you guys more about that again. But I'm going to try to salvage what I can for the rest of my trip. I'm here for three more days. So I'm trying to make the best out of it. But let me show y'all the views. Heading to the I've been I got options. And I don't want to tell you to drop it. But I don't want to play your fair. Yeah. Something that makes me look at you too often. Baby, you can give us something Baby, I can run all the time I, Baby, I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you Yes, un gusto Oh, no We're here, headed up to the roof. Look at these beautiful, beautiful figurines. Oh, been searching for someone to satisfy my every need. Won't you be my inspiration? Be the real love that I need. Cigar lounge. This is the cigar lounge. This is the Q1 cigar. Okay. Q1 and Colombian cigar. Q Which one is better? The better is Q1. I And you're Colombian? This is the this, yeah. The Colombian is good too. <laughs> no, you're Colombian? Yes. But you know the, the Cuban no, is better. The, the Q1 is the better. For the, this is more experience Q1. Honestly, I'm a very, I'm a beginner. Yeah. This is a special day. A special day? First, first cigar. Oh. Are you face go? See, yeah. I need something, I need ah. beginner. Yeah, okay. I recommend for today this. 
This, I recommend this, this cigar is very, very good. This is a Picure Hoyo de Monterrey, Picure number two. This is okay. the, this is, uh, this is light, very light. Light, very light, very light. that's light. what I need. I had, a, I recommend the Romeo and Juliet. This is smaller. Yeah, it's smaller. But I like the big, I like the... <laughs> Let me look at this. What side do you like? Mm. What's, what's, what's better beginner? Or oh, maybe this size. Oh, that's too small. That's too small. Do you like maybe one more big one? Oh, look at this, the Hoyo de Monterrey. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> okay, this side is perfect for you. Only in the mall. Mm -hmm. No inside. Only in the mall. You can give me a tutorial? Yeah. Oh, how are you, Ari? <laughs> Says, only, only, in, only in the mall. No inside. No inside. Oh, you know which one you want. Yeah, I think this one's <laughs> No inside. Okay. But do you but like this? this? Do, really you like this? do you like this? He, or he, maybe, he or maybe, this? Maybe, or maybe this? I don't know. I don't know either. This Colombia is good cigar too. But you said Cuba is the best. Yeah. I think this one is friendly. Okay. Like a good. It's so good. You know. Okay, in the in the table. Come on. Okay. Come on the table. I, I, I cut it. You for gotta you. cut it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a special cigar, Romeo and Juliet. The Q, the Cuban cigar. They're all special, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> How do I? No inside. I them out. Okay. I don't know. More, more, more. I, need a, I need you to show me where you are there. No inside. Only in the mouth. Very good. Only in the mouth. It's kind of like hookah. No, no. no the, the, I mean, the way you smoke it. No inside. No inside. No. <laughs> hey, where you go? I just want to chill and twist a lot Catch stunts in my 745 You drive me crazy, shorty I need to see you and feel you next to me I provide everything you need And I like your smile, I don't want to see you cry Got some questions that I gotta ask And I hope you can come up with the answers, babe Girl, it's easy to love me now Would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me? Girl, it's easy to love me now would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me? Back in the house, y'all. It is 10 o'clock on the dot. I gave myself a 10.30 curfew. So, we're doing great. I stopped and got me some food. So, I went to La Magnolia. I got me some gyozas. They're basically like pop stickers. Those were so good. I ordered more. Those were so good. But then I went to the cigar lounge. That was cool. I feel like I need more rich hobbies and cigar lounges fit the bill. That was a cool experience. But let's catch up, shall we? Tell y'all what's been going on. <laughs> Try to give you the short version. So my last vlog was my birthday vlog. And it is genuinely the last time I was having a good time in Cartagena. That was a week ago and some change. This trip has significantly went downhill since my birthday. So the day after my birthday, Charles left, Raina left the Airbnb, not even gonna get into that. My phone decided to quit, quit on her day off. Still isn't working, she's just done. I went out to eat, I took myself out to eat, went to use the restroom and put my phone on the charger while I was using the restroom. Get out the restroom to go get my phone because I was about to go out. It was Friday, my phone wouldn't cut on. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? And I'm like, I know it wasn't dead. I never let my phone die. Like that's one thing about me. She's always charged, okay? So I'm just like, what is happening right now? So, you know, I took that as a sign to save my ass in the house. So I went to bed. I was like, forget it, go to sleep. When you wake up, phone to be charged, back on, whatever. Baby, phone never cut back on. Imagine this, you're in a foreign country, no phone. All your cards are on your phone. You don't know anyone's number by heart. You do not speak the native language in the country that you're in. What do you do? What do you do? Baby, I woke up and I can't explain the feeling. My heart sank to my damn knees. Honestly, it sank to my knees. It was like a pit in my stomach like, whoa, what? 
phone. Hello? What are you doing? You know? Crazy thing is I have two phones. But on my recent trip to Houston, I took my phone to Houston and put it in my storage. Why? What was I thinking? I was thinking, well, I haven't used it the last nine months. It was my work phone. I was like, I just put her up. I don't want to lose it. I just put her up, whatever. Turn around and need it. <laughs> So I'm stuck with no phone and I'm like, my anxiety is through the roof because now I can't do nothing. And I know y'all think I just be out here wilding, like just doing anything, but your girl, I really don't move like that. Like every risk is a calculated risk. You know, I'm not going outside without a phone. Absolutely not. So the next few days, I literally didn't leave the house. I don't even know what I was feeling. What emotion is that? I felt helpless. That's the emotion. I felt so helpless because I don't know anyone somewhere by heart. I mean, even if I did, I had no way to contact with. I don't know anyone in Colombia. The people I came with, I was no longer with. <laughs> you know what I mean? And even like my MacBook, a few weeks ago, I disconnected my iMessage because it was taking up too much storage on my computer. I couldn't access my WhatsApp from my computer. I can't log into my banking information because of two-step verification on my phone. I'm just like, what is happening? Like, it was hell. That's the best way to describe it. So long story short, I finally got out of my head after like five days of just not leaving this house. Unless I was going within a two block radius. So I felt like I was just wasting my trip, wasting my trip. And then think of social media. I'm not on Instagram, I'm not on TikTok. I'm on Facebook, but literally nobody I talk to is on Facebook. I'm in Colombia. I'm watching the clock go down on when I need to be out of this Airbnb. I don't have a phone, I don't have no, like, I'm just like freaking out. Long story short, I ended up going to FaceTime on my computer because I used to FaceTime like a few friends before and I had their numbers in there. So that's how I had two of my friends' numbers. Literally muskered up the courage to leave the house, go get a Colombian phone, y'all. So the phone I have, and the reason I'm outside is because two days ago, I went and got a Colombian phone. This is an Android, I got a Colombian number. So I had my friend contact my dad, tell him what's going on. It's just been, it's been a nightmare. Like I haven't done anything. It's been a nightmare, <laughs> you know? So extending my trip three more days because I'm like, I haven't seen Cartagena. There was a lot I wanted to do. Didn't get a chance to do it. You know, so now I have a phone. I have like, I'm in contact with three people now through WhatsApp, my friends, my dad. He let my other family members know I'm alive because they were freaking out. You know, once I came out of it, I'm just like, this is a learning experience that you need to have a contingency plan, Jax. Cause I feel like this is like the worst thing that has happened to me while I've been traveling. Like nothing like this has happened. I don't have a phone. I don't know when I leave here, if I can use this phone, so I'm going to, Miami this week to get a new phone. My dad is relocating to Florida. So it was already in the plans to go to Florida, just not this soon. I wanted to explore another part of Colombia, go to Panama, all of that has just went to shit. <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive. I am staying positive. That's why I haven't been vlogging this week. I didn't want to just come on here and be Debbie Downer. Like I wanted to make sure that the vlog stay positive, but also share with y'all that like my birthday trip, it just completely went downhill, but we moved. I do have an excursion in the morning. I also need to be at this Airbnb in the morning <laughs> and I haven't packed a thing. So what my night looks like is me finishing my food, taking a shower and going to sleep. And I'm just gonna wake up at the crack of dawn, pack, and then we're going on our first excursion after being in Cartagena for two weeks. <sighs> Trying to look on the bright side. I have a phone, I have people who care about me and I'm in contact with, everything works out. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Buenos dias, gente guapa. I'm all packed up, y'all. About to leave my Airbnb and head to my first excursion. I'm excited, it's 9.30 in the morning. I've been up since seven, got all my bags. The owners are nice enough to let me leave my stuff here until I check into my next Airbnb. I'm excited, so I'm about to go do a Barzuto market tour, which is like three hours long, and finally see a different part of this beautiful city. I, I have to come back to Cartagena. Like, I just don't feel like I did it right. Like, I gotta come back. I don't know when I can come back, when I'm gonna be able to make that happen. 
maybe not in the next two years but i'm coming back one day i'm trying to take in this view one last time before i leave so beautiful i think my my new airbnb is like right on the water it's like one of these i think it's this one or with that one but i won't be able to see like the skyline anymore there's the pool girl we up high we're on the 36th floor baby Ooh, i'm so happy i ain't scared of heights i'd be pissed if i was scared of heights like god what's up <laughs> but the view is so nice y'all take it in take it in but yeah we gotta go i'm about to call my uber and head to the meetup point let's get this day started i still cannot get over the view from our hallway like look at this y'all crazy it's like this little ventilation thing here but you get to see the islands the elevators here gotta go i already know y'all are gonna want to know jazz what's the airbnb what's the airbnb so i'll leave it in the description for y'all <laughs> Hola. Oh. Como estas? Muy bien. Okay, guys. This one is the most comfortable for us because the ticket cost it cost three thousand pesos. It's less than a dollar. The good news is that you can go to a different road, different neighborhoods around here, popular neighborhoods. But if you get out, you lost that ticket. You need to buy a new one if you want to take a new bus. Remember, we are living this experience like a Cartagenero, a normal Cartagenero today. And this bus has big windows reason to observe outside because we are uh, we, we have a beautiful city in Canada. Find it possible they are close to you answering for something or then selling something for you. And if you don't understand anything you just need to say no gracias. Okay and they go. It's the most it is a, it's like a magic word. Yeah. All this place in front of us is Basurto Market, the second house of Cartagenero. Okay, so right now we're in the Baduto market. It's in the inside. So there's obviously vendors inside, outside. But he was saying that it's about nine or ten blocks of this vendor. Oh my god, they got right in here. Girl, I need to go get some of that. <laughs> no, I'll just decide. I really do. I feel like I'm back in Mexico. Like, I think that's a requirement. Wherever I move permanently, I need a market. Look around here. You can see different roads around this area. Okay. I feel like I'm 
in Colombia right now. The first Basulto market is there, and actually, this place outside is Basulto market too. This place is like a town inside the city. They live different here. This is the real Cartagena. It's so amazing! It's really hot. I think this is the hottest day since I've been here. My favorite that is called Sabalo to taste you and you need to choose another one. You need to, to agree to decide to take one of this. Uh, Sierra fish, corbinata fish, uh, corbinata fish and tilapia fish. But I'm going to recommend you the first one this Sabalo. Sharing food. Cecilia's 
restaurant, the most popular restaurant in Basurto Market. Anthony Bourdain came here to try different food in this area, in this restaurant. We have different, different and several restaurants spot around here, but this one is the most popular in the market. We have coconut fried with beans, pork and chicken fried, have to live in similar to paella. We have icotea, our torture, very delicious. I imagine that this is probably how hot hell is. But I also feel so bad about complaining how hot it is knowing these people are here every day. Like, what right do I have? <sighs> but I'm definitely enjoying, oh, it's getting loud. Hold on, y'all.
ayuda en fila aquí. Ok, we're gonna try the most traditional fruit in this area, ok? So we're on the big side of the market. We're about to try some traditional Colombian fruit. This place is busy. The first fruit that we're gonna taste is called sweet tomato. This one, sweet tomato. Passion fruit, but it's totally different. You're gonna surprise. This was in the exotic fruit hall, if y'all yeah, remember. I tried this. I remember. Yeah. Same one. I'm gonna try one of my favorite fruits in Basurso Market. Our Nisperos. Nisperos is the name of this delicious fruit. Maybe we've been walking. <laughs> that is called calamari oh. and several vegetables and this one is sardines but if you want okay. I can uh, give you a crab this, yeah I want a crab okay. yeah. thank you do you have uh, a Colombian salsa? si, sí, of course oh, there we go All right. the Colombian salsa is agi it's like a fermented red pepper salsa okay. 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 When in Colombia, do as the Colombians do.
Okay, guys. So, as you can see, I'm in the house. I'm <laughs> not going anywhere. I have an excursion bright and early that I need to be up for. I'm so excited, y'all. Y'all gonna love that vlog. And I just hope I don't die. But, oh my God, it's gonna be so fun. But today was so cool. Like, I feel like I really got a Colombian experience. Like, it really just put a lot of things in perspective to me. I feel like I already bask myself in gratitude daily, but that was just like, it was just a special moment of just appreciation for the life I live, like, and just being blessed with just because, for whatever reason, those people that I saw today are so hardworking and are just like, I mean, I didn't talk to them, so I don't know if they're happy with their life, but they seemed happy to me you know in the conditions that they live in like i feel like we take so much for granted every day like you know just look at my airbnb okay like i'm in a luxury high-rise airbnb overlooking the, the beach and i don't take this shit for granted you know i don't need to like say i'm grateful every single day to y'all but like i don't take none of this for granted <laughs> at all ever you know but it's just like it's just, I don't know, I'm not trying to preach and get deep, but like, today was just so, it was just a reminder. It was just a reminder. Me and my little Colombian phone, you know, over here complaining and sad that I broke my iPhone. My iPhone broke itself. I didn't break it. She broke herself. But you know, just first world problems. Like, none of this shit really matters. You feel me? Like, today was just a reminder of that. Today was just like... You have your life. <laughs> These people have their life and it's good enough for them. They have their friends, their family, and love. And that is all that they need. And, like, they're happy. And they're just joyful. And they're spreading joy and love. And it was just, like, today was such a good day. It was such a good day. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Like, genuinely. What's that popping? <laughs> But yeah, y'all, this is the end of the vlog. I do hope you enjoy tomorrow. This is by far the craziest thing I've ever done. I can't wait for y'all to see. I mean, y'all know I'm not going to tell you. Like, you got to see the vlog. Ah! Good night, y'all. Adios.